this uh, will probably cost you around uh, 10,000 10,000 10, or less yeah right it's actually doable mm -hmm. Are you going to stand here or you turn around? Oh, Okay. So cute. In, just stand there. She'll just stand there. Okay. In today's video, went. <laughs> Let me leave you so I can pay attention. Okay, baby? Okay. In today's video, we're in Spring Valley in Westlands, checking out a home that is built out of refurbished material. We're going to be walking through with the builder, Tony, who's going to be talking to us about his process and the journey of putting all of these different materials together. This is Pepe, who is the dog that lives in this Airbnb. So hi, Tony. Hi. Hi. How are you? I'm fine. How are you? I'm good too. Okay, great. First of all, like, welcome. Thank you. To Nairobi, Kenya. All right. Thank I you. Hope, uh, everyone has been hospitable. Yes. Yes. It's been very beautiful. Uh, that's good to hear. <laughs> so, uh, my name is Tony. Okay. Uh, I can introduce myself. <laughs> Tony. Hi, Tony. <laughs> Tony Njuguna is my name. Okay. Uh, one half of uh, a company called Great Spaces. Okay. So Great Spaces is an architectural uh, firm, mm -hmm. architectural and interior design firm. Can you tell us a little bit about what this home is made out of, looking uh, at it? All right. I can give you a brief history. Uh, at the time when we, st we started doing it was in 2019. The government was looking at uh, uh, doing affordable uh, housing and affordable homes. Ideally, when we did the house, uh, we wanted to approach the government and front uh, this as an affordable home. Uh, okay. But uh, I have not had the chance to showcase it. The home is made out of uh, timber, mm -hmm. uh, shipping pallets. Uh, shipping pallets uh, in the country are used for making furniture, at times uh, just making a cladding on a wall, or just even uh, making a partition. So we thought that uh, we could uh, try and uh, make it into a home and see the cost implication of uh, doing a, a home out of uh, the shipping pallets. The beauty about the shipping pallets is that uh, they lessen the time of construction. Okay. Uh, once you do the, the foundation, which is also a strip foundation, not very deep because the structure is not heavy, okay. then you're able to have the home done in no time. Okay. How yeah. long did it take you to put the structure up? Uh, we started in uh, March of uh, 2019 okay. and were done in December. Uh, okay. of the same year but uh, we took uh, some break uh, we had some problems of course here and there with the local authorities about approvals and whatnot okay. so we took about a three months break okay. yeah so I'd say like six months okay. uh, 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 the other reason why I chose uh, the, the space to be uh, to be wooden is that uh, this eventually will come down uh, since okay. this is a very prime area okay so okay. we'll okay. do better houses like right. uh, the neighboring uh, modern townhouses houses. yes okay. so this was basically something short term that's yes. why you went for yes, this yes 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 specific uh, type of yeah yeah time. 10 to 15 years then this will come down and then we'll do you can normal. compete with everybody yes, else on yes, the same yes, price yes, yes. Okay, yeah. great. So let's talk a bit about the building itself. Yes. Yes. So you said your, your base is a strip foundation. Yeah, strip so foundation because okay. yeah, uh, we, we had to do some backfilling because the l land was sloping. Uh, so we had to cut the, the level. So that was the level one. So mm. this is level two and then level three, the kitchen garden. Ah, right. Yes. Okay. Yes. Tell me a bit about working with this slopey land. What were some of the Ooh. challenges and learnings? So this was... Uh, out of uh, the frying, frying pan into the deep, <laughs> <laughs> into the fire. Because uh, before, uh, personally, I just designed uh, okay. uh, uh, on, on sloping piece of land. So it was a bit different when you're doing it for yourself. The working on a slope, I won't lie to you, is one of the hardest <laughs> things I have ever had to do. Uh, when uh, the house was complete, uh, that first level, mm -hmm. uh, we had not done this retaining wall. Okay. So it was raining mud in 2019. It was one of the years it rained a lot in December. So at some point, the 
part of uh, that we had retained it as a as a soil okay. uh, we had just cut it came down so oh. we had to <laughs> to do the the retaining wall but wow. it's um, once uh, you're through with it it has the most scenic views yeah uh, can see three different levels yes from yes one yes yes and then you have your parking area yes yes so also this was a, also a very big challenge to okay. achieve mm -hmm. uh, because of the slope actually initial design was that it was going all the way so when we were cutting the levels with, this, with the guy who did the, the, the grading for me and mm. leveling, uh, he suggested as opposed to the parking lot going all the way down and the levels were a bit crazy because you can see the, the difference <laughs> yeah. between that level and, and the this grass. Level, it's a yeah, bit so much. he suggested that uh, it comes this way. Okay. But the flowers seem to be covering something. What's yes, that? Yes, uh, that's the septic tank. Uh. So it is a very ugly structure. If I yeah. can show you the photos from, yeah. <laughs> uh, from when Before. we did it, yeah, when we were actually building. So my, my gardener, the guy who does mm. gardening, is called Alfred. He's very good at his work. He's responsible uh, for all the greenery that you're seeing. Uh, the trees, I did them intentionally like that so that uh, they can provide shade right. and of course privacy. Because again, the challenge with these sloping pieces of land, right. privacy, mm. the other guys across, the land is also sloping. Yeah. So there is no much privacy. So that's why I'm putting up some trees. Uh, and, the, and then again, uh, the cover of these trees to mm -hmm. kind of separate uh, this from the that lower establishment, level from the upper level. yeah, which okay. is ideally meant to be an office. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. So okay, back to the material choice over here. Yes. So we see that you've put the shipping pallets. Yes. On the foundation. On the frame. Yes. Yeah. So yes. tell me a bit about this construction. Tell me a bit about this process. Okay. So it was a pretty uh, basic uh, construction. Mm -hmm since uh, our target was to have it as um, affordable as it could. First of all, we did uh, when we did the leveling, we did the foundation, okay. uh, strip foundation. So we did uh, an actual timber frame. Okay. Uh, and then uh, we also discovered uh, there is a point in which the house, there is also a level that is higher and the other one that is lower than the other one. So when we go inside, you'll actually notice there's a ramp. Okay. Uh, so that's where the, even in the house, there's a level where you have a higher ceiling and another level we have the lower <laughs> ceiling so that the, the okay. roof uh, can come together. So yeah, after the, doing the timber frame, uh, which uh, had to be very precise with mm -hmm. my guys, uh, I had not done that. I had not done this before, so it was a learning curve. Okay. And uh, trust you me, learning I did. Uh, so yeah, <laughs> right now I can do this in a heartbeat. Probably okay. take less time than yeah, uh, than I did. Because you've got the experience. Yes, yes. So once we did the frame, uh, we now started doing the partitioning. Okay. Uh, on the exterior, we did the pallets. And then on the interior, we still did the boards uh, because uh, what we what uh, comes in the palette is that the exterior is this and then on the inside you have the boards okay uh, so that's that's what uh, we used now to do the partitions okay. on the inside until the ones we had in hands got finished and then we finished some areas with gypsum okay. so you'll notice that there's some areas where it's very smooth and then some <laughs> areas where it's not very smooth because of the difference because a lot of the material is recycled. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yes. Tell me about working with these pallets individually. So what are you doing to put them together? Uh, we just use ordinary nails. Okay. And then after that, uh, we use some sawdust and some glue. This is now woodwork. <laughs> so we use the yeah. specialist. We use a, a wood, a, a wood uh, specialist mm. to just uh, come and now seal the, the, gaps. the gaps so that uh, first and foremost, uh, it doesn't uh, get too cold in there okay. and then to prevent any creepy crawlies from okay. getting into into the okay. into the wall two two things yes. did you treat this no actually uh, now the other thing about uh, shipping pallet okay. is that they come as treated okay. treated so this is okay. actually pine wood oh okay yeah so uh, they come when they are treated mm. but uh, now uh, again when it was raining uh, when we were building, we had a challenge because now when the rain started hitting the wood, mm -hmm. it de decolored. So okay. now we had to do uh, some varnishing. Vanishing. So this is called Timberex. It's a, it's a product for timber. Okay. So it gives it this color that you're seeing. Right. And also it, uh, it preserves the wood for a long time. Okay. What did you use for your installation? Since we were trying to do affordable, right. we forego uh, insulation. Okay. So we ideally supposed to do it because it helps with the insulation 
uh, from heat and of course cold. So how we forego doing insulation, uh, we did big uh, windows for okay. a aeration. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yeah, it's just uh, practically a frame, then uh, the, the pallets on the exterior, then wood on the exterior, okay. skimmed and painted to okay. desired finish. Welcome. <laughs> Thank the you. interior of the house. All right. So when you step in, you do realize and notice so that airy. yeah, you kind of like walking now into another whole establishment. Yeah. A lot of people when they come, they can't believe the transition from the timber from the outside yeah. to now the interior, which is modern. We, yeah. we call it chic. Uh, it was very intentional. Affordable doesn't have to be boring. Yeah. Tell me a bit about your door. Uh, so, interesting story. When uh, we were doing uh, the project uh, in 2019, we also happened to be doing a lot of banks. Okay. So we were doing some bank renovations, bank <laughs> designs. There is one branch which uh, closed operation. Okay. So they had to demolish and cut away mm. a lot of uh, partitions, doors, so one of the contractors was good enough to <laughs> to give me the doors. Uh, so when you go around, you'll see a lot of reused and recycled uh, recycled doors from banks. Teller doors, main entrance doors. Uh, this actually, I think, was from an office, uh, okay. which again, a contractor friend of mine had okay. demolished. So one day when I went for a visit uh, to his office, I saw it, I was like, wait, can you sell that to me? Mm. He's like, yeah. So that's how I got it. Yeah, so you can tell. But uh, I'm also a fan of uh, a lot of natural lighting. Right. <laughs> so this and was so very intentional right. now to, yeah. <laughs> okay, and then you put it in the timber yes, frame timber framing. so you wouldn't lose that external yes, aesthetic that you yes, were going yes, for. Yes, yes, okay. yes. Okay. And then over here you go a glass partition. So this partition, uh, initially when you look at the photos for the uh, finished house, was not there, but okay. we did realize because uh, the guest washroom is just here and the sitting room is just there. We had to think about something that would offer uh, some privacy okay. and at the same time not now do a bulky wall uh, okay. to spoil the design uh, right. or the look and feel of the house. Right. So that's how this glass partition came is, about. Is it thick? Uh, well, it's about... Uh, this is about, uh, it's, it's, it's a oh, laminated, right. double laminated okay. glass. Tense it's an ordinary glass, maybe about 6 mm, so it comes to around 12 mm, mm -hmm. 10 to 12 mm. It's laminated, so you can even see it came when it was shattered or being transported, but okay. you can see it, uh, yeah. it doesn't uh, shatter. Interesting. Yeah. And over here, you got a section for hanging your keys. <laughs> yes, I actually, this uh, was a souvenir. <laughs> Yeah, so for hanging keys and stuff. Right, right. Yeah. You can show us this space. So okay. this so space like this uh, is uh, ideally supposed to be uh, a shoe rack, mm -hmm. where when you visit, uh, you just place your shoes here, away okay. from the dogs. Okay. <laughs> they tend, uh, when I had the small dog, she, she used to chew on the shoes. Mm. Yeah, so, and you have a wash hand area mm -hmm. for the guest uh, washroom, just, uh, an ordinary normal top flush toilet. Right. Again, also with the sanitary, mm -hmm. we are also looking to save on costs, but saving on cost doesn't again mean you compromise on the, the beauty and aesthetic. Mm -hmm. So it's a really affordable uh, WC, mm -hmm. but uh, also aesthetically, it looks nice. Okay. And then uh, if you notice the partitioning, uh, uh, I mean, uh, these uh, slats that you're seeing, yeah. uh, they are to conceal the joints. Because uh, right. another challenge I got, because uh, also these are shipping boards, okay. so they basically came, come in as a crate, so they had uh, uh, varying thicknesses. So sometimes you'd find if this, this board and this board, this board is thicker than this one. Mm -hmm. So now to conceal the indifferences, sometimes you ha you'd had something looking like that, just something overlapping, they're not the same profile okay. because they are from various shipments. Okay. So that's how we you came around. It. Yeah. And it looks like a, an intentional design. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> okay. So same story. Same. This I think I got still from my same friend. Okay. This was an office partition. So you can right. see it's an office door. <laughs> yeah, so we just did uh, some, uh, uh, some film on it mm. to just give it the privacy. At the same time, it was intentional to just light up the space. Okay. Yeah, just being being different in you the design. You have a push out 
clear glass window also. Yeah, 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 yeah. We had uh, this uh, uh, swing windows. Yeah. yeah. So uh, this black tile again yeah. gives that contrast in yeah. the in the in the space. It defines the wet area, a high uh, traffic area. So that was intentional getting the black tile. Mm. So your home, like locally manufactured, they are okay. quite uh, good quality, good looking. Yeah. Also look nice. at a bargain, uh, they were mm. quite uh, quite affordable. Right. Yes. Then you've got a good sized mirror. Good sized mirror, oh, yeah. yeah. You need a mirror to look at yourself once you come <laughs> out from the washroom. That yeah. is for the ladies. Men look at themselves <laughs> well, almost as, as much. Not as much. I don't know what the connection is between ladies and mirrors. Whenever you see a mirror in the washroom, selfie. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. so over here, oh, you got a lot of, you let in a lot of natural light yes, because these windows are pretty wide. Yes, it was so very intentional. So when we for went uh, doing uh, the insulating, uh, we had to think fast and come up uh, with uh, ways of aerating the space. Right. And also this was intentional to have kind of a look, uh, mm. uh, 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 you have a view of the exterior. Uh, and also aesthetically, big right. windows always make any house look good. Because yeah. I've grown up also in houses. Uh, I think when we were growing up, uh, most of our parents were afraid of uh, burglary and mm. uh, robbery and breaking. So yeah. we used to have small windows, <laughs> probably <laughs> this size. Uh, <laughs> but <laughs> if it was up to me, this would actually be touching the ground. Yeah. But now you need at least some lift uh, for the power, okay. provisioning, the so skirting. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Was it intentional to not have like a complete open window? Is there a reason why you went with this specific type and not just a full blown open window? Yes. If it was up to me, we'll do a whole full blown window. Mm -hmm. But now uh, that will mean uh, that glass that yes. uh, will come to fit in there will be quite expensive uh, for that size of the glass. Yes. So we did some partitions okay. to save on costs. Right. Yes. You can walk us through your living space. Living space. Yes. Well. Uh, this ideally uh, in the order uh, or arrangement of uh, any design mm -hmm. you it is supposed to be almost the first thing you you come across so that's why it was placed where it's placed mm -hmm. uh, and again uh, with the view of the gardens and yeah. there's a river actually just where? down there <laughs> there's actually a river I, i'm sure you can't see it but oh i see yeah there's actually a river so whenever Yonder. yeah whenever there's a lot of rain the mm -hmm. heavy seasons it uh, budges and it all almost reaches where the river wow fans. that's so yeah. cool so again having this uh, living room on this side uh, to you give you a view, view of the river and also of the garden right. yeah and uh, also made sure it was a bit uh, spacious yeah there's yeah. so much light Yes, in that, this space. Yes, yes. Because even though it's cloudy outside, it's yeah. still bright. Here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that's wow. the advantage now of the big windows. Yeah. That's where <laughs> they, they come into play. As a, a champions of green design, <laughs> you want to use as much natural as you can. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Over here, I see you've got your palettes and then you've got what, starfish? Yes, yes, deco. also souvenirs. Were yeah. you going for a sort of beach? vibe beach theme in here well, the blue green <laughs> sand and well most sea. of this actually wasn't uh, intentionally yes because right. again this was souvenirs uh, mm -hmm. from traveling okay. but uh, yeah it uh, kind of it like came into place yeah. yeah so the this was intentional to kind of like have a feature wall right to bring uh, the exterior into the house okay so that's why i did this wooden feature house mm -hmm. when before i did this <laughs> Uh, we really fought <laughs> uh, because um, it obstructed my feature wall. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so initially I wasn't for this, but that's why now we did the glass so that it right. doesn't steal away the beauty. But it really has a beachy vibe. I don't know yeah. if it's because I've seen the starfish now suddenly my mind feels like that's yeah, what maybe. you were going for. Yeah, it's uh, ideally it's blue, like a concept, uh, concept uh, holiday home, right. uh, which is essentially supposed to be relaxing. Relaxing. Yeah. It's very interesting. Yeah. So you sourced the furniture as well? Yes, I sourced the furniture okay. locally. Also uh, some good uh, furniture makers who are reasonably right. priced. Okay. Uh, they do a good job. In fact, like the armchairs, mm -hmm. a lot of people when they come in, uh, they think that those were gotten from a shop. But they were we, built. We built them actually wow. from some That's furniture right. guys on Gong Road. Uh, that's where most uh, of those guys are. Mm. So, yeah, they do quite some good job. Yeah, yeah. it's a very good finish. Yeah. Nice. 
Yeah. And then you, your towel, was this intentional? Yes, the, now to brighten up the space, you mm. can see uh, we did a lot of white walls. Yeah. So to kind of also brighten up the space, uh, we chose tiles that aesthetically, uh, number one, they are appealing, and then also to just brighten and lively up the space. Yeah, yeah. Add some we character did. with yeah, the yeah, yeah. cracks we did. and all yeah. Okay, that's interesting. And then you've got lights. These are slightly bigger. Uh, down lighters. Yeah. Yeah. So yes, uh, these again uh, are very low wattage. Okay. Uh, they are about six to eight. Okay. Four, six, and eight watts. So for the living, for the relaxing areas, mm -hmm. uh, we chose the warm light. Okay. And then for the spaces where you need the brightness, like in the kitchen, right. uh, you get the daylight right. uh, down lights. Right. Yes. Right. Okay. So walk us through your. So this is Beachy the, the dining, dining space. Yeah. Uh, again, you can see in, in line with the, with the theme and the concept of the house. Mm -hmm. um, we got this. Uh, this was bought. This was not made uh, from okay. a furniture company called uh, Odzenen. Okay. Yeah, so Odzenen, they have quite some nice looking uh, furniture. Let's go a big window here. Yeah, Let's big windows again light. when you're dining uh, yeah, because we couldn't views. do outdoor dining. Mm -hmm. uh, we just had to now kind of bring the outside outdoor, in yeah. through the big dining dining uh, dining right. windows. Then on this section uh, we have the kitchen. Mm -hmm. So it's uh, what is basically referred to as the American kitchen. Why? Uh, because it's usually open. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of people dislike uh, American kitchens, especially yeah. if you're designing for a lady. <laughs> they tend to think that the noise from the kitchen will affect the other operations in the house. For, for example, the in the smell. Sometimes yeah, yeah. The scent but of the uh, food. what smell? When you're cooking, it's always a nice smell. If it doesn't well, smell nice, if, then if it's you really... come to my country, <laughs> <laughs> there are some dishes that need oh, to be cooked behind. Oh yeah, yeah. But so, they're very strong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like so Indians mm, and Chinese mm, have mm, similar mm. dishes that are strong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So I am. Um, I always like open kitchens, so whenever I am doing designs, that's usually my first, yeah. first go-to, unless now the client uh, doesn't want an open mm. kitchen. In fact, again here there is missing a kitchen bar. Yeah. I'm supposed to put some stools over here. Yeah, then have a, the yeah, yeah. So for some just bar stools, uh, whenever right. someone to keep someone in the kitchen company or when you just want to have your meals or breakfast, some nice snacks. Nice. Yeah. Right. So were these bars intentional Very. to create a sort of partition? <laughs> yes, yes. Yeah, uh, get well, that feel. This, uh, this is part of actually the framing, if you okay. check, because we had them at a span, I think, of around uh, 4.5 meters. So okay. you can tell this is smack in the middle of the, right. the external the walls. Okay. So this was part of the frame. So we had to think with my guys how we can maintain this just to give uh, the kitchen mm. character. Uh, so this is the kitchen. The cooker, cooker slot, uh, the mm -hmm. fridge, uh, microwave down here, uh, okay. then the storage, cabinet storage for all the kitchen cutleries. Uh, so lots uh, of storage. Yeah, a lot of storage space uh, under sink. Uh, mm -hmm. So uh, we now the limitation of an American kitchen is that you can't have any overhead storage. So it's all below under counter. Storage. You could have had some here though. It, interestingly, uh -huh. this is meant to be the pantry okay. of the house. Okay. So I'm supposed to do some shelving over there. Uh, now, so in, in the meantime, before that happens, <laughs> that's why I put the hanging plants. Because mm. uh, mm. ideally, the microwave is supposed to be on top, I think, of the fridge or okay. just factored in somewhere in here. Uh, you have a microwave station and then the open, the yeah, open shelves uh, pantry. Mm. Yeah, and uh, I think the reason actually why I didn't do it is because I couldn't find this. The same. This yes, right. yeah, because I wanted to be this. So this was intentional to have the kitchen sink. Okay, uh, facing just the facing, very beautiful yeah, view. The view. Yeah, the view. Yeah, it's lovely. Uh, yeah. So you can show us your yeah, let's, different rooms. How yeah. many bedrooms are here? It's uh, basically a four bedroom house. Okay. Initially, it was supposed to be a three bedrooms. Uh, we just decided to add uh, an extra room, what okay. uh, uh, called the Airbnb. Uh, okay. that, that particular section was for that purpose. Okay. Yeah, when we get we'll there. It. So this is a master bedroom, essentially. Okay. Uh, so a bit of old furniture. Not all the furniture was, was new. So mm -hmm. this was brought in uh, from previous house. Okay. 
Okay. Yeah, so uh, these are also custom made. You can see uh, yeah. the design. Uh, I usually have Ngong Road guys. So the chest of drawers came after when okay. the space now became too big. Right. I'm also very generous with the size space of the room. Space is really big. Yes. Yeah. You've got your towels and then plywood and then the bottom. Yeah, yeah. So this is uh, now the plywood. You can mm -hmm. even notice on the ceiling. Is that what you use for the ceiling here as well? No, no, no. This and that are different. Yeah. So, so this, what type is this? This I is some sort of a soft board uh, uh, that is thicker. Type. Yeah, okay. yeah. That's uh, so. Okay essentially for the ceiling uh, you need that then for the partition you just do the the thinner right before we leave i just want us to appreciate the, the light <laughs> yeah again this has seat. a view of the neighborhood <laughs> so at night space. you just leave the, the 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 shears just don't do the curtains and you have a very nice view yeah, of you the, have a moonlight yeah of through. the surrounding and then it's nice. quite quite so peaceful, peaceful and quiet yes. the, it's so chilly yeah such a nice vibe yeah it's really nice. Okay. So, hmm. walking closet uh, again from uh, now to make. Uh, if you take a peek, this is how the partitions actually look. Oh, okay. They look like this. <laughs> so now, when uh, we were doing the the concealing of the mm -hmm. joints, and uh, we just thought about. Doing this just to neaten out the nini. What, what board is this? Uh, this is just like a plain MDF plain board. MD oh, okay. Yeah, plain MDF. I think uh, 12 mm. Yeah. So over here, you can actually so imagine this was the the partition yeah. uh, material that yeah. we used. Yeah. It you looks can, like plants. Yeah, you can, you can, yeah, you can actually see it. Yeah. So that's okay. the original material. Okay. Yeah. So just a normal uh, walking closet. Mm. Uh, with uh, that shoe area, yeah. then uh, storage. yeah, storage space. Okay. Yeah. See this one? It's yeah. got someone's stuff. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Then uh, this is uh, the closets. And the bathroom. The bathroom. Yeah. Okay. So you can tell uh, this. Yeah, it's a uh, very nice. Yeah, a centerpiece, a countertop. Mm -hmm. Uh, sink, which uh, actually many people don't believe costs uh, less than the, what uh, people purchase the ordinary looking uh, wall hung. Really? Yes. Uh, wash and so basin. fancy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So again, when you're doing these things, you just have to be creative. Mm. You don't. Expensive again doesn't always necessarily mean uh, yeah. good or Quality. good looking. Yeah. So and then you got some storage underneath. Yeah, yeah, the yeah. So that's a basket for towels, the dirty laundry, um, foot towel. Mm. Uh, the, Is this the same laminate glass? Yes, yes, the, the same. same one. Yes. Uh, so all this came from a bank. <laughs> all this glass was used to partition <laughs> banks. Okay. Yeah. So. Uh, then there's a WC. Yeah, the WC, and then the shower area. So I don't know if. Uh, you're familiar with this type of showers we call them instant showers yeah so you just uh, switch it on uh, from the switch the, the switch and then and instantly the yeah the water becomes what so it uh, also saves on cost because mm. uh, uh, doing uh, the other type of heating uh, does the the, the 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 kit itself is quite costly mm -hmm. so this uh, saves you some money right. and it still uh, functions the same yeah, then uh, the drain. Tile work. Yeah. The okay. Soap D, it's a soap rack. Is right there, there a slope on the floor yes, of some it, sort? Yes, yes. Okay. It, it does actually. Otherwise, it would. Yeah, it does actually slope, slope too. Okay. Yeah. You've got a bit of space over. Okay, so there's a towel rack. A towel right rack, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay, and cool. uh, my <laughs> office partition door. Frosted yes. glass. Yeah. Which runs through. Yeah, so okay. this actually, I think, also came as is. Mm. Yeah, I think it was already frosted if I'm not right. if I'm not wrong. Okay. Yeah. Oh, so you can realize, uh, you can notice the this level is actually lower than mm -hmm. the upper yeah, rooms. Yeah. So this one has higher ceilings. Okay. Yeah, because right. I think There's this is space. about 2.6, 2.7 mm. or 2.5. Then the other level is 2.2. So. Now to harmonize the roof, this level had to be higher and then that had to be right. lower so that <laughs> we don't have a breakage in yeah. there after you. Yeah? Oh, thank you. 
Okay, so there's frosted glass all over. Yeah, through. so again, this uh, was just to also give some character to the dining area. Right. Uh, I want to do glass art on it, so I want okay. to have a, a glass artist <laughs> come and do some nice graffiti, okay. nice uh, art on the glass, just to now give the house some character and some color. Because you can realize we did most of our walls are just plain, plain colors. So this uh, ideally is supposed to be a kiddie room. Okay. You can tell by the, the, size, of the, the size of the bed. <laughs> so ideally this was supposed to have a house girl's bed okay. and then like a baby cot to come right. in, into this space. Uh, I still haven't put in the storage uh, cabinets in this room because usually it's not used a lot. And uh, my internet connection, <laughs> right. yeah, so I change uh, from that company to that other company. <laughs> Unfortunately, I wasn't around to supervise. I don't like uh, the uh, wiring. It's mm -hmm. not neat compared to that one. Okay. So this is, an, we call them the interconnecting rooms. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so it's, it's a shared uh, shower in WC, so the same. Yeah. So this was initially now the guest guest bedroom. You can tell it has two beds. Okay. Uh, or in future the kids' room. So right. if you have kids and uh, this particular area you're seeing here is like a study area. So whenever they're doing their homework and stuff, yeah. uh, that's this the is place. The higher to... that we've yeah. So the now higher, this is the, the level. Ceiling. You can see yeah, the, the ceiling lower is the lower. Ceilings. Yeah. So yeah. that's how we <laughs> we manage to harmonize yeah. the roof. Yeah, so mm. pretty much again, uh, my furniture guys did uh, quite some good work, yeah. uh, very solid, solid beds. So also interesting thing about uh, these uh, boards, mm -hmm. whenever they are bringing in MDF, the crates they use, did you know that they actually use these boards to kind of like make the crates okay. to line them on the inside. Okay. So it's just still the same board that they're shipping, ah. but this board is used now to line the crates. Okay. So that enables you to acquire this at a cheaper price right. than actually okay. buying the actual board. MDF board, yeah. so that's so, this one. So this and uh, the ones in the kitchen, you'll see. Right. Yeah. So same board, but just because it's used, because sometimes you find it like uh, with some dents, small mm -hmm. dents here and there. Yeah. So that's the, the reason why you get them at a bargain as okay. compared to actual board. But they come from the same company, so same quality, same right. look. Okay. So it's what I have used at this uh, study area. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's like a browsing station. Yeah, yeah. Oh, a little workspace and you've yes. got a place to put books. Yeah, books, yeah. Oh, so yeah. very kid friendly or guest friendly whenever you have someone and they want to they'll be working from home if they just want to be in the room yeah that's and a good spot yes <laughs> so well, you tell can, me about this door is it also from uh, a bank this is a bank door <laughs> <laughs> typically you can tell <laughs> from yeah. the glass <laughs> yeah so we had to frost it uh, but yeah again i was very happy if it was up to me i would have done uh, aluminium door. and glass door full glass but now because of the privacy of right. the room and whatnot sometimes you want uh, some darkness when you're sleeping yeah. some blackout curtains <laughs> unfortunately it had to be <laughs> just a door with some peep glass and some well, ventilation vent. okay. yes yes so it came as it is okay. and uh, it's actually uh, it has a plate right. a metal plate inside mm. from a bank yeah so it's pretty solid like Very solid. yeah and then you got your distribution board yes this right is here. the db okay yeah. okay your walkway is also really bright because of the large window. yes yes so yes the... the large window this is actually supposed to be a feature wall i love art okay but the kind of art i love i am not sure <laughs> i can place <laughs> it here i am i appreciate <laughs> nudity so i'm a nude <laughs> You that lover, so not everybody would want that. <laughs> yeah, that exactly. Space. Now imagine you having parents or some visitors, yeah. and they then they come. Yeah, but uh, as an artist, because uh, being uh, an architect is is art, so you get to appreciate some. Right. Um, this ramp, uh, I didn't tell you about it. So that's the. This is uh, the difference. Right. The, so in the levels. In the levels. Okay. So uh, initially, I would have put some staircase, but. Uh, because I was brought up by my grandmother and okay. I, I envisioned her coming to visit. Uh, yeah. It has not happened as many times as I'd wished. 
and she doesn't walk very well so i did this so that it can enable her to move around just move, move around in the sweet. house yeah. yeah yeah and anyone else who might be physically challenged yeah. so we did the ramp because we'll have just done maybe one or two steps yeah and then we'll have had some difference and then uh, this is uh, what now is an extension this house initially was supposed to reach there going like that okay so now the thought of uh, an airbnb uh, came around so this uh, was intended to be now the airbnb room okay. so you can see it has its own small lounge mm -hmm. uh, yeah. tv uh, some <laughs> games <laughs> a sound uh, the desk Lots of lights yeah 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 the desk that you saw usually stays here Oh, the, the one okay. outside here. So it's usually actually, here. Yeah, it's okay. stationed here. Mm, so we forgot to. Yeah, so essentially it's bigger. This room is yeah, bigger. It's very uh, spacious. Yeah, homely. Uh, uh, unlike some people who don't like doing big guest rooms to mm. <laughs> discourage their guests from staying. <laughs> 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 so, across. yeah. And so, that's view too. Yeah, if so you look this here, is, you can see your yeah, this is, uh, So I also love trees. Okay. So. Unfortunately, we had to cut this tree Aww. because it fell when um, we did the levels, we okay. had retained it. But now when the, the soil, before we did the retaining wall, came down, mm -hmm. we had no option but to cut the tree because we couldn't risk it yeah. falling on the house. So sadly, but mm. I, I told the guys to work around at least yeah. the stump, just it let it nice. be there. Again, with the flowers, just to soften the, yeah. the, the concreteness. The yes, yeah. Yeah, to, just to soften it. And uh, finally, the guest shower. So the uh, someone broke my glass. I really don't know what they were doing in here. <laughs> the guest broke my shower glass. Usually, we have the same glass over here. Okay. So this is the shower area, uh, WC, and uh, sink. So these uh, are the normal sinks mm. that uh, people go for and i can yeah. tell you for a fact there's no much difference in between price this between this and, and fancy yeah and the fancy fancy yeah. One. Yeah. <laughs> yeah so cool yeah basically cool, 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 that's cool. the space that's really cool tony i'm really interested in finding out how much this costs to put up let's say not for the entire structure just yet yes something like this main bedroom that we've just seen this living this studio setup sort of like mm. how much would something like this cost to build well, uh, I am yet to do the calculation because we had uh, the boards okay. uh, uh, given by someone uh, who had them. Uh, so the timber, the exterior timber and the partitions we had. Okay. So I need to now actually do the cost. cost what I do know, because uh, now I had to go back to pocket to okay. now do some purchase for purchasing for the finishing, mm -hmm. probably the tiles, the windows, the roofing some timber for the frames okay. uh, just that cost somewhere between 40 to 50,000 USD okay now for all the additional work that I had to do and labor mm. that is excluding now whatever I, that I had in hand okay yeah okay so yes. that's for a four bedroom house yes but if yes. it was for something smaller uh, you, you can't smaller really maybe uh, probably will go to around how many bedrooms one or two let's say just this just, just this space, just like a this studio. Space, a studio. This uh, will probably cost you around uh, 10,000. 10,000 10, or less. Yeah. Right. It's actually doable. Inclusive of the wood pallets? Yes. And the yes. windows yes, and all yes, that? Yes, 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 yes. Okay. 10,000 to 12,000. Do you remember I told you we were looking to have this as affordable housing? Yes. Uh, we pretty quickly found out there's nothing affordable about timber construction. <laughs> okay. That's why it's not very affordable. Because imagine right. if I am going back to pocket uh, and I'm also spending around 50K mm -hmm. uh, when I have some materials with me, uh, I forgo the cost of professionals because right. I, I designed the place. I was the supervisor, you know, project managing. So. Uh, they quite some saving, about 30%. Okay. So I think on a normal, this would probably go to almost double, about okay. 80 to 100K. Okay. Yeah, for the whole thing. Wow. Yeah, so now I don't call it affordable housing, I call yeah. it alternative. <laughs> 
alternative housing so my <laughs> next <laughs> my next uh, affordable housing project because uh, our type of architecture we, use, we like to term ourselves as alternative architecture okay. so i'm doing some bricks mm. that are made from soil uh, which uh, I am going to do some contemporary designs. I'll show you some of okay. those designs. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, that's my next affordable, <laughs> and hopefully this that one will is actually will affordable. Be affordable. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, and using an estimate, we yes. could say this entire build will cost you anywhere from eighty thousand dollars to a hundred thousand. But that's for a four bed. Yes. Which is quite a big yeah, amount of space. Yeah, quite a big house. Yeah. And uh, don't big. forget also. Uh, when you're doing uh, construction on a sloping piece of land it's versus a fairly flat, yeah. probably fairly flat could be less, yeah. maybe around 6,000, okay. 7,000. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's $60,000 yes. or $70,000? Uh, 60, yeah, 60 to 70K. 70, yeah. yeah. Or a flat. Yeah, fairly right. flat. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Okay. Yes. Well, what's the nightly cost over here? Uh, for the entire house, will cost somewhere between 280 to 350 USD for the okay. entire space. Okay, and yeah. for just this? Uh, this probably will cost around 70, 60, 70. 60, 70 dollars. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Okay, that's interesting. Yeah. All right. So if you're doing, you can do two rooms, three rooms. No, that has become very difficult okay. because you see the common areas. Right. You'd have to get people who are willing to co-share. Right. Yeah, it's still a process. Okay. Uh, since last year, uh, August, uh, September uh, is when uh, the space has been lettable. Uh, mm. So uh, it's still a learning process. Uh, this is so also a very prime area. Yes, well. yes, yes. Okay. This is um, very, very prime. A okay. uh, piece of land for half an acre, half mm. an acre of land uh, usually is what is found. And okay. like for half an acre of land here will cost you around, let me do that math right, 1.5 million USD. 1.5 million USD. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. So this is prime prime then. Yeah, yeah. pretty much uh, the house. Where are your potted plants? Uh, they are just outside. Okay. Uh, I, re I was reporting them. Uh, someone cut my strings. So okay. I just need to replant them, uh, to put them back again. <laughs> yeah. Then you have the kitchen yard Ooh. on the exterior. Uh, essentially just some space to do any external prepping. Mm -hmm cooking, uh, trash area, external bulky trash area. And also nice you can just put, you can <laughs> just put nice seats area. here and just chill. Yeah. Yeah. So favoring uh, the person who is most in the kitchen, they mm -hmm. can just come out here, just enjoy the view. Is your overhang also laminated glass? Yes. Okay. <laughs> so uh, interestingly, you'll note, I've used the, the glass. Um, the, I did a uh, asking around when we were doing the manholes uh, mm -hmm. and then uh, we found out that uh, the cost of a manhole is ridiculous. So since I had the glass with me, <laughs> I got creative and uh, <laughs> I actually put the glass on my manholes. Eh? Oh wow, instead they... of doing a covering. Yeah, I don't think anyone else has done that. You can see. <laughs> so my manhole cover is a glass. <laughs> so these tiles, sometimes there are many and you don't return them and you're not using it because it's not the correct shade. Mm -hmm. So they, they get a use <laughs> <laughs> to assist to keep the glass safe, especially okay. from kids when you're having kids running, running around. around. Yeah. So that's why I did the glass and then softened it with a pot. With a potted plant. Okay. Yeah. It's not too heavy though. No. Okay. So you wear a bit of exposed pipe work. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. This is uh, the breathers for the. Okay the manholes mm. or inspection chambers. Okay. Yeah. And then another rain gutter? Yeah, rain gutter. And then, oh, CCTV. Yeah, yeah, yeah CCTV. <laughs> 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 you, you know, uh, the area is actually very, very safe. You can yeah. tell, that's why I didn't do any grills on mm. the windows. All right, and then you got some floodlights. Uh, yes, some floodlights. Then this is the laundry area back here. 
Ah. Laundry, okay. yeah, laundry There's so cabinet. much space. So yeah, how yeah, big yeah. is this, the unit? Uh, the, the unit space? is around 215 square ah, meters. Wow, all on yeah. one floor too. Yeah, so that's yeah, all yeah. And then up there is about 90 to 100 mm. square meters. Okay. Yeah. You could easily build on this, I'm guessing, if you wanted to double uh, the floor level? Not really. Because the no? uh, type of foundation we did. Okay, but if you had another yes. stronger foundation? Yes, yes. If, yeah, actually, I hope my next project I'll mm. be able to do a story. So pretty much that's it. So whenever they are, there's a party, the <laughs> cooking ladies come back here. And then do and all the, the cooking. cooking is done from behind here and then it's easy to clean. So okay. all the water just flows and feeds okay. my arrow roots. I have also arrow roots. Okay. So you do realize they grow mm. near a river, but due to all the water that is flowing, <laughs> sustains yeah. them. Yep, and uh, pretty much that's the space. Very, very unique Thank space. Thank you. Oh, and have a lot of fruit trees on the garden. Mm. <laughs> so, po -po. Po oh, wow. Uh, actually, most of these avocados, it's from me because all my organic waste I just throw in the garden. Oh, okay. So that's how <laughs> I have like, I think, eight or nine wow. uh, avocado trees. And in Kenya, it's a very precious commodity. Really? So what type of ceiling? So this is uh, what uh, traditionally uh, has, uh, has been used in the entire house, dry partitioning. Uh, okay. This is a uh, gypsum. Okay. Uh, so it's a very good material. In fact, if you can notice, uh, on this space, the space where you have the eyes, mm. uh, I did uh, do gypsum. Ideally now the whole house is supposed to be like this, because if you can notice, it's flawless. Mm as compared to now the other boards which right. have a challenge with uh, probably uh, some dents on the boards mm. which yeah. uh, you can't uh, really cover up with skimming yeah but, uh, this is yeah, but with gypsum uh, you, you once you skim it and paint it it's perfect even the upper room mm -hmm. because it was ideally meant to be now the only room as an airbnb okay also looks uh, the same Se as, the ceiling the, but not the wall no no wall and ceiling is actually gypsum it had a glossy finish so you painted it with gloss yes yes okay. yes glossy paint okay. Yeah, so you can tell the walls, these ones are flawless, they don't need any yeah. any slats. Yeah. That's why you can achieve the more modern look yes. in this living space yes. versus yes. in the bedroom. Yes, yes, right. yes. Mm. This is all smooth. Yeah, oh, smooth, right. yeah. So if somebody was interested in something like this, you'd be able to assist with the build? A hundred percent. Okay. I'm actually looking forward because <laughs> uh, you see the reason or um, this now having been uh, a personal project, right. it was very hard to showcase it because mm -hmm. you're not sure you want to open up your home and show it yeah. to other people. But now I had actually an in-law. Uh, okay. He's married my cousin, he's called Martin. I can give him credit. <laughs> he okay. came here and he really told me that I need to showcase this. Yeah. Cool. Maybe win me an award, give me the exposure <laughs> I need to yeah. get a build. So, I'm hopeful uh, from this I'll be able to actually get someone like yeah, who I can somebody. now do even a much better job than this because yeah. this was my learning curve yeah. but I think on this 100% I can okay. implement uh, yeah that's great Yes. Okay, so I'll leave your contact information in the description for yes, anybody yes, that yes, wants yes. to reach out Yes, 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 you can check out our work, our company work Alright Yeah Okay Yep Okay, thank you Tony Thank All you so right. much for walking us through your Beautiful space. Karibu sana. Asante. Yes. <laughs> if you'd like to stay in this Airbnb, I'll have the information in the description box below. Also, the information for Tony, the builder, will be <laughs> available in the description below. So you can check it out. Hopefully. Oh, she's so cute. I'm even distracted. <laughs> well, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to share with your friends and family so that they can also enjoy it hopefully i see you in my next video have a beautiful day a beautiful week and an amazing life i have to do it again eh? <laughs> oh hello Pepper.